Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to graph simple and compound interest. Of course, there's a PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. Annabelle and Kaylin both invested $5,000 over six years. Annabelle receives a simple interest at a rate of 5% per annum, whereas Kaylin Bank pay her 5% per annum compounded yearly. Draw a graph showing interest earned for Annabelle and Kaylin. So first of all, let's work out Annabelle interest first. So for Annabelle, so we know that Annabelle receives an interest, which is 5% per year. That is simple interest. So the rule for simple interest is I equal PRN. So N is over six years. So let me just draw a table as well. So N and this is I. I is the interest. N is number of years. So I equal PRN. P is equal to $5,000. R is 5% 5 per annum. And the year so for one year, which is times by one. So let me just write one here. So I can just put in a calculator. Otherwise, I can just do manually. So this cancel with these two. And five times five is 25. So which is two, five, and we add a zero. Otherwise, I just put in a calculator. So I just go 5,000 times five over 100 and times one. So there you go. Now for two years, so we go I is equal to PRN. So P is still $5,000 and R is the same interest rate, 5% per year. And this times for two years. Let me just write this down, N equal to. So times two. So now I can just put on a calculator. So there you go, $500. So for two, that is 500. So for three, so I change that into three years. So just go change to two to three. So there you go, $750. So $750. So for four, so you got the idea. So I just use calculator and change the value. That's all. So I just change that into four. So $1,000. And then for five years, so change that into five. So 1,250. And for six years, so change that into six. So there you go, $1,500. So let me just draw a box for it. So there you go. So this is interest for Annabelle. So now let's work out the interest for Caitlin. But we know that Caitlin, she receiving a compound interest. So we know that, let me just write this down. So Caitlin is a compound interest. So the future value FV is equal to present value PV and 1 plus R power of N. So we know that the present value is $5,000 and the interest rate is 5% per annum. So 1 plus 5 over 100 and compound N annually, okay? So yearly, if you like, power of N. So now I just draw up a table. So N, and we have future value. So when N is one, so we just put that in a calculator. So that means the future value is equal to $5,000 and one plus R, which is 5% power of one. So let me just put that on a calculator. So we just go 5,000 
brackets 1 plus 5 over 100 because 5 percent okay 5 percent mean 5 over 100 and power 1 so there you go that is her future value at the end of first year so that means five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars so five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars now n equal two so we should change that into two so her future value will be so I should change the one into two so that is her future value so I just press SD button so five thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents because we're dealing with money so two decimal place okay so five thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents so now we just work out for n equal to three so when n equals three so there you go so five thousand seven hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirteen cents so five seven eight eight point one three now for four years so we just change the three into four there you go so six thousand seventy seven dollars and fifty three cents so six thousand and seventy seven dollars and fifty three cents now work out for five so we just change that into five so there you go. So $6,381.41. So $6,381.41. For N equal to 6, that is 6 years. So just quickly change 5 into 6. So there you go. $6,748. So $6,748 and 48 cents now we need to work out the interest okay so let me just make this a little bit smaller so interest so i so remember i now to work out the compound interest so we know that the future value is minus the the present value because at the beginning she invested five thousand dollars and at the end of first year her balance will be $5,250. So the difference will be her compound interest. So let me just write this down. So $5,250 minus $5,000. So the answer is, so that is her interest. Now for second year, her future value for second year is this. So which is minus $5,000. So if we minus $5,000, so let me change this for second year. So $5,512.50 and we minus $5,000. So that will give me $512.50. Now for third year, so we just go future value minus the um, present value. That is $5,000. So if we minus $5,000, so that will give me $788.13. So $6,077.53 with minus 5,000. So that will give me, that is $1,077.53. And for fifth years, she get $1,381.41. And then for the six years, so which is minus 5,000. So that give me $1,748. So there you go. So that is the future value and the compound interest. So let me just draw a box for it. So N is one. So the simple interest is 250. And you can see my graph is go up by 250 because you can see for a simple interest, it's go up by 250. It is easier, that's all. So now when N equal to two, so I is 500. And when it equals 3, i.e. 270. So when it equals 4, it's 1,000. And it's a straight line. You can see the pattern. So 6 will give me this. So now when n equals 0, we know that is the interest is 0. So now let me just draw them up. So 
So there you go. That is Annabelle interest. So let me just write this down. So this one here is for Annabelle. So this is simple interest. Now let's plot the compound interest for Caitlin. So when N is equal to one, so I is 250. So 250 is here. So when N is equal to two, so $512.50. So let's work out the minor grid. See, it got by how many? So what I do, I just use calculator. So it go by one, two, three, four. So 250 divided by four. So just go 250 divided by four. So it go up by $62.50. So that is, let me just write this down. So $62.50, it go up by, okay? So therefore $512.50, so roughly just above 500, okay? So just a little bit. So when N is equal to three, so we have the interest is $788.13. So we know that each grid is go up by $62.50. So halfway, it should be $125. So if we go $125 add to $750, so that should give me $875 in between, okay? And we add $125. So that should give me in here 1,125. And, and this one here at 125, it should give me 1,375. So for n equal three, 788, just a little bit above 750, okay? Just a little bit. So roughly here. And then when n equal four, a thousand and seventy-seven dollars. Again, just a little bit above this. So there you go. And when n equal five, so one thousand three hundred eighty-one dollars. So one thousand three hundred eighty-one. So just above one thousand three hundred and seventy-five. So just a little bit above halfway. So when n equal six. So 1,700, so 1,700 is up here somewhere, just underneath here somewhere. So now what I do, I just plot these points together. Of course, it starts from zero because when times zero, okay, Kaylin hasn't earned any interest yet. So n equals zero, i equals zero. So just a rough sketch, join them up. So there you go, that's his uh, compound interest. So you can see as the time go by, this gap is getting wider, okay? Be simply because it's compound interest. The interest will help Kaylin to grow more interest. Whereas Annabelle, her interest is constant. It's going up by 250 every year. And whereas Kaylin, every year, she get more and more interest, as you can see. So every year, her interest is growing. So that is simple interest for Annabelle and for Kaylin is compound interest. So let me just write Kaylin first. So you can see the graph over a period of time, Kaylin interest will grow more and more. So her graph should be an exponential graph, okay? Not a straight line. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.